ministry actually has been carefully evaluating the situation as it emerges and in our global surveillance on MERS-CoV infections, there have been certain developments of late <clears throat> that uh, have um, informed our latest assessment of the potential public health impact to Singapore. Uh, there have been, of course, an increase of confirmed cases in Saudi Arabia in recent weeks. And the recommendation by the fifth meeting of the International Health Regulations Emergency Committee concerning MERS-CoV for WHO and member states to take immediate steps to improve national policies for infection prevention as well as control. But I should emphasize that we do not, at this present, have knowledge of any cases of MERS coronavirus in Singapore. Based on the available evidence that we have, the risk of a community outbreak also remains low as sustained human-to-human -human transmission of the virus has not been reported. However, with today's globalized travel patterns, the possibility of an imported case cannot be ruled out. Because of this, we cannot be complacent and have already been working with our healthcare institutions and other government agencies to enhance preparedness and vigilance. As the global MERS coronavirus situation is still unfolding, our ongoing surveillance efforts and assessment of the public health impact here will continue to inform and guide the calibration of existing as well as future public health measures. From 18th of May, Singapore will commence temperature screening at air checkpoints for passengers arriving from affected countries in the Middle East. This is an additional measure for early detection of MERS coronavirus. You will be aware that temperature screening has been instituted before in the past, notably during the SARS outbreak in 2003 and again during the influenza A H1N1 pandemic in 2009. While such temperature screening is a preemptive measure, it may not pick up all imported cases. This is because of the relatively long incubation period of about 14 days of MERS coronavirus and the presence of mild and asymptomatic cases as well. So MOH and healthcare institutions therefore remain vigilant to test for MERS coronavirus where clinically indicated such as in patients with serious respiratory illness and a compatible travel history. All suspected and confirmed cases will be isolated and managed under strict airborne infection control precautions. If a case is detected, MOH will conduct contact tracing when appropriate and all close contacts will be placed under quarantine. We have also provided guidance to healthcare workers on the management of any suspected cases of MERS coronavirus infection. We also urge frequent travellers to the Middle East and Umrah Hajj pilgrims to maintain vigilance and adopt the health precautions when overseas as per MOH's health advisories.